kind of a waste of a day if it ain't a freaky day. Yeah, you know, how you only want to be nasty on Fridays? <laughs> nasty every day. Let have been a Titty Tuesday. Is Titty Tuesday <laughs> even still a thing? The Me Too movement. Uh, oh man, Me Too killed Titty Tuesday. That makes sense. Let me not push that narrative, but they, but they get me the fuck <laughs> out of here. Yeah, they go Me Too you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that shit means necessarily, but that shit sounds terrible. Man, we get harassed too. We should start the men too movement. Yeah, like we shit about us being harassed. <laughs> that shit crazy. If we uh, if we say shit like about us getting harassed, it's like, oh, that nigga gay. Yeah. <laughs> or you ain't like it, nigga. You... Okay, Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Oh no, that ain't us. Yo, 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 yo. Not it. Nah. Mic that... check. Mic. Ch- nah, that ain't us. That ain't. It's... Yeah, God damn. How we start our podcast? It's been a little minute. Uh, and we back. <laughs> <laughs> we back another week, another episode. Of Meanwhile, we'll be the podcast. I'm your host, Regular Jai. I go by the name of 80 Proof. And pe- oh, shit. Damn, no LaPussoire like today. Damn. That shit look empty as a No Pusaliana. We got somebody popping in, though. Yeah, yeah. We ain't going to tell y'all who. I mean, y'all going to see it in a second anyway. It ain't Pam, so. Yeah. Don't 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 be expecting no big fat ass coming in here. The person doesn't even have a vagina. Yeah, they all light skin though. <laughs> <laughs> they all light skin. But yeah, man. So what the fuck is up? Hey man, another day, another dollar. Trying to make a dollar out of fifteen cent. Another day, another dollar. It's about getting money. Pretty much same shit. New toilet. Give me a holler. My nose running. Yeah, all that. My, my nose will be runny though. You look like a runny nose, nigga. Like Roscoe. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> snotty. <laughs> Gina. Yeah. But yeah, man. Um, how your week been, man? You good? Yeah, man. It's been a, it's been a, 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 a kind of week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was definitely long. It's been, it's been one of those kind of weeks. Uh, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. That shit was crazy. Yeah, man. That shit tragic. Boy was just here. Boy was just here two, like two, three weeks ago. Yeah. In that concert with the baby. 20 years old. Like, that's the part that really killed me. Like, boy was so young. Yeah, man. He was young, man. They got to do, these young kids got to do better. The fucked up thing is like, ha, like, it could have 100% been prevented. Yeah. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause I mean I even seen the pictures that everybody was you know speaking of about you know the address and all that shit. So for y'all who don't know, we assume everybody knows unless you live under a rock. Brooklyn rapper Pop Smoke was shot and killed in a Los Angeles home. It's not like a real news reporter, right? Yeah, that's, I, I, you was doing it right. <laughs> Brooklyn rapper uh, Pop Smoke was shot and killed in Los Angeles, and uh, I believe it was his Los Angeles home. I don't know if he was renting it or it was his, but. So apparently they posted some pictures. The pictures had the address in it. Like he had some bags or something that was shipped there or something, something like that. And yeah. the bags had the address on it. You can kind of tell the address in the background. And they saying they ran up in the crib. The crazy thing is I seen both pictures. And um one, one was the um the bags that had the full the address. Full address. That should have full address on it. Because the picture, I'm like, man. No way you could have got the house yeah. number from the picture. Yeah, because because like it's some like of the numbers were yeah, missing. Yeah, 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 some of the numbers were missing. So I'm like, yeah, you know, how many fucking houses are up there, and then how many of them got like three hundred up yeah, there? Yeah. But then when I seen the story, and I was like twenty, I was like, ah, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> but the crazy shit on one of the um, on one of the uh, pictures, they photoshopped the address off of the house. But yeah, on yeah, one of them, of it, was still or, or it, it, was, it appeared to be. It was I don't off. think it was. Yeah. So it just looked, or maybe it was the angle of it. It just looked like you know what I'm saying the shit wasn't up there, and then, then lo and behold, you know the the shit had the full actual address, and it was like, damn. You know the robbery didn't even really surprise me though, because that's what niggas in L. A. do. Like they rob celebrities' houses all the time. Yeah. They usually just do it when they're not home. And so. it's like, um, you know they. A lot of people, you know, that probably never been to L.A. or don't fucking understand how L.A. crime politics work was like, you know, everybody was saying it was a setup or whatever, saying, you know, there's no reason that they would even be up there like, nigga, you, you've never, you've never been to L.A. 
You that's think, that's where they go rob shit at. It's up there. That's people who think LA is all Beverly Hills. Like LA is not all Beverly Hills and Malibu and shit. That's not it. Yeah. You get, I mean, you get the best of people in LA and you get the worst of people. Yeah, but I mean, if a person is gonna do a home invasion, they're not gonna do it on another nigga in the hood unless it's like some. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what unless I'm saying? I know you got something in the crib. Yeah, and, and, but pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why the fuck I'm gonna go rob another poor person? They not gonna have. That's a fact. What I'm gonna go get a PS4 from them? That's a fact. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, they gonna go into the motherfucking hills and where the jewelry and the money yeah. is at, and they, they taking that shit. Cause when I mean, when I was out there, that's <coughs> most of the news clips I saw of, of home invasions. It was yeah. it was out there. The people don't even be home half the time, so why yeah. not running? I mean, I'm not saying why not running that shit, but if you yeah, yeah, running yeah. some shit, running some like running that shit, some some insured shit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it's insured, and just hope that they one of the. They not one of the few people that got that gun license. Yeah. <laughs> and ain't home. Cause yeah. And that's what I think could have happened. They could have ran up in the crib. You could have been in there with a burner on them. Yeah. And got the shooting out. Nigga also gangbang too, right? He could have went to LA and not checked in. Yeah. I mean, then they said um I guess the on the camera the when they ran out, they didn't have nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like no jewelry, no money, no nothing. So you get to LA, you don't check in. You check in and your information ain't right. It's, it's bad business for you, yeah. brother. Yeah. So, but again, it's sad to see these young kids going out like that. Yeah. Then they were saying something about he uh, stole like a wraith. Or some I heard shit. about that was yeah, that was a while ago. He like drove the wraith from California to New York. Yeah. Wild from like, like a that. like a made man type shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But I mean. As with any black death, there's conspiracy theories and shit. Yeah. I'm not about to. I'm not. About to, <laughs> oh man, don't do that to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not about to do that shit today. I'm just saying. But as with any black death, is everybody becomes a detective. What's the What's there's the nigga name that be on YouTube? Who? who be speaking to the ancient ancestors? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the nigga name? That's how much I don't pay attention to conspiracy theories. I don't even know his name, and everybody knows. You him. You talking about a nigga that always be like aliens? Yeah. <laughs> the the ancestors' sister, a uh, Bumbaye. Yeah, told me. Ale boom my a, yeah. ale boom my a. Y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about. But yeah, rest in peace to Pop Smoke, man. Um, Twenty years old, like he didn't even get a chance to really experience life. I mean, he did in, in a little bit because he, you know, but not really. Yeah, that's like he, life. You were still on the come up, like you didn't even really get rich like yeah. that yet. Like you might have had, a, you probably had a little bit of money on you, but you didn't really get rich like that for them to be so, running after you. Yeah, yeah. I'll stop posting your lives on social media, man. Wow. That's that's the whole that's the whole thing that I want to kind of touch on. It's like we live in a society now where everybody feels entitled to just share every single little detail about their life. I'm talking about they posting pictures of their kids in front of the school. Yeah, with, with, the, school with the school name. name oh, yeah. oh right. this is a uh, report card. They came. They showing what school the teacher you name. Know, the teacher like name everybody. It's like yo. Got your last four the social in there. Now I can go pick your kid up from school. You like, know what I'm saying? Just, it's it's like, like, yo, oh, oh, the bus driver talking shit. Oh, I'm going to be on such and such lane at 3 mm -hmm. o'clock when the bus drops my kid off. Like, yo, why the fuck you giving all these strangers <laughs> access to your life, yo? Easy access. So hopefully nothing, you know, fucking manifests, you know, from it. But I would stop if I was... Like you said, there's ways to do it. Like you said, one of the pictures had the address blurred out. Like, if I tell you I'm going out of town, I'll tell you what city I'm going to, but you're not, no, not going to know what hotel I'm in. Yeah, I mean, like, yo, you're they not have know a- what car I'm in, like- Yeah. I mean, they have, like, it's people that I see on my timeline that are nobody. They might have, like, 30 friends, and they blur their license plates out, like my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's looking for you, B. <laughs> like- you don't have to. We we your only friend. You, like, and, you, and you don't live a life of crime. Like nobody's looking for you. The cops don't even run your tags when they behind you. Yeah, you blow your license plates out, but you drive this car every day with your license plates just <laughs> fully exposed. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know. People fucking. You gotta stop doing it. Like you said, give people too much access to your life. And a wise man once told me, "You give a niggas an inch, and they take a road trip." So, when the fuck you ever talk to somebody wise? I be talking to niggas, man. I got, I got a lot of old heads, man. Old heads is wise. the fuck somebody wise ever had stoop down and take a conversation with you? Damn, that nigga said stoop down. <laughs> be your own niggas, B. Man, that was payback for the last episode. I don't forget shit. <laughs> Petty, man. Yeah. We even now. Whatever. <laughs> what else we got for music? Uh, so, yeah. um, 
But yeah, so stop fucking posting every little teeny tiny little thing. Or that goes on in your life. When you post it, don't be mad when people comment. When niggas come see you where you at, they run up on your shit. Like, That's a fact. Social media is not, I mean, it's a joke. It's good to joke on, it's good to laugh and have fun, but that shit on social media can get real, real quick. And it and it tends to. Because one thing about people, they like to be in, be in lives and shit. Yeah. Cancel culture. And they definitely like the motherfucking talk shit. Cancel culture. So, yeah, let's get into this um, top 50 motherfucking female rapper list. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Lord, Lord. I mean, it's good today. Somebody actually took the time to come up with 50 female rappers. That was nice of them. Uh, I don't I don't remember Amanda Perez ever rapping. Amanda Perez is on that list? <laughs> She's number 40. What did I do with that list? Because that shit is out of control. She She's higher than China White. Didn't I send you the list? <laughs> yeah. This is terrible. She, wait, she's higher than China White? <laughs> She's literally one hiding. Yeah, I said that. Didn't back China White only have one verse? It's not a. She didn't have no verses, though. Amanda Perez fucking. <laughs> <laughs> China White only rapped over the, the B.I.B. I song, right? With Lil John. That China White? That's the only China White I know. As far as niggas know, she might have had a whole motherfucking. That shit was fire. Fuck you. <laughs> that shit was fire, though. But no, um. What are you talking about was fire? China White verse on that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. it was. I mean, it was fire. She just only had one verse. <laughs> how do you? How do you? How are you nominated for one verse? Yeah, how are you nominated for? You don't know Amanda Press's rap career, B. I know she looked like a rapper and shit now, <laughs> but I don't ever remember her fucking. Um, but why the? F- <laughs> They did kind of get the first, I mean, I wouldn't say the first couple right, per se, but the first couple actually deserved to be on the list. You put Meg Thee Stallion over Raw Digger? Mm, uh, me, personally, no. <laughs> Lyrically, I, uh, my nigga, they have, they have Fergie over Gangsta Boo. Fergie's number 24. Fergie's number 24. And Gangsta Boo is number 25. I mean, pop culture. Fergie technically is a bigger rapper as far as pop culture goes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no, nah, man. Oh, shit. I ain't, I ain't got time. We got this motherfucking I special got, guest just walking in. I got shit to do today. <laughs> oh, this nigga came. Oh, yeah, my yeah, Lord. I see how he came through the door. We got motherfucking Devani in the building, goddamn. <laughs> Jimmy jumped in the flesh. Jimmy, at Jimmy motherfucking jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, my niggas? Oh, you are on cloud 13. <laughs> I know that look. Miss Frizzle, That's the Miss Frizzle. That I was going to say, Miss Frizzle definitely just dropped this nigga Ms. off. Miss Frizzle, just got off. you bust through your stuff. He just got off the magic school bus. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> Say him that list. So we, right, we, we just jumped in, so you not nowhere behind. So we just jumped in on the motherfucking top 50 female rapper list. No, nah, we got to talk about how gas this nigga is first. He nah. is tall. Yeah, first off, first off, we're not going to talk about that. My okay? man. It's, it's not here nor there. He looked like me in the face. <laughs> first off, top 50 female list. <laughs> Fuck the top 50 female list. I'm sick of y'all saying hardcore is better than China Doll. <laughs> Foxy Brown's China Doll is better than hardcore. Only thing good about uh, hardcore was the booklet in the CD. The rhymes were right, but it's because Kim and write most of them shits. Yeah, because Biggie's yeah, gay. But- <laughs> Biggie told a man, Bro. you look so good, <laughs> I'll suck on your daddy's dick. So that's why he was able to write the rhymes for him? <laughs> this nigga just came in on the album. I'm going to go. <laughs> if we gonna talk, if we just going to talk about lyrics, Biggie was a wild nigga. He was definitely out of line. I, maybe, maybe <laughs> y'all have seen a woman that looked that good. Never, but I've never. Never. You look so good. I suck on your daddy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> no, that's not okay. That's the, that is still one of the most flagrant rap lines in history. That was wild. Well, DMX said he'll fuck a corpse. <laughs> Let's not forget that either. <laughs> yep. like, let's, let's stay on track here. Sinus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the female rappers, yo. We talk about the wildest rap lyrics ever now. Uh, niggas is wild, cuz. Like, for real. <laughs> All right, but no, I just wanted to, I wanted to start with that. I don't know what just happened, but yeah, I want to start with that. That China Doll is better than hardcore. And most people going to put Lil' Kim up real high. And 
Fo- they gonna put Fox Kim high. Yeah, Fox is definitely better rapper than Kim is. So she gotta be top five because you're gonna put Kim in your top five. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Where do they have Foxy at? She's eleven. That's not okay. <laughs> so, so name one through ten. So uh, I give you the ten. Right, top so ten is Nicki Minaj, Missy Elliott, <laughs> Missy Elliott. Okay, Missy time out. Time out. <laughs> clearly, started with Nicki. Clear, clearly, this list isn't as far as lyrics go. <laughs> No, nah, I, I can't nah, lie. No, Nikki can rap though. No, nah, I can't lie. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki might be the best female rapper we've ever seen. She out rapped Jay Z on the song. Who song was that? She bodied everybody. The Kanye song, the monster. She bodied song. everybody yeah, on monster. Yeah, that did, shit did, don't did, count. That was that's nah, her type it do, of shit. It though. do count. That's like saying uh, Renegade don't count. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. That's her type of shit. Like that was her. That song was built. No, for, like like her. No, nah, no that song different. was no song was built for nobody better than what Kanye did for Rick Ross. <laughs> What song is that? The devil. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it was like, all right, bro, I got something perfect for you. I just need you to send me the shit. <laughs> I don't know. Gunplay on nobody's favorite was that shit was hard. <laughs> I mean, gun- niggas be sleeping on gunplay. <laughs> <laughs> gunplay is one of the others out. That shit was definitely telling me. I just sent you the list on Messenger, um, just so you can keep up with it and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't even want to see this bullshit. It's it's a lot of bullshit on this list. So niggas we had no, so. <laughs> Janelle Monet is nine. Okay, first off, let's start here. They have a group. Yeah, Salt and Pepper is number seven. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't you can't separate them. They've never done anything separate. You have a group, but then you put Left Eye by herself, even though she was only a, only a rapper up there. But yeah. So who was better than Salt and Pepper then? A lot of people. <laughs> no, I'm talking about within their group. Oh, nigga, I don't know. I don't know the bitches apart. <laughs> I wasn't old enough to know Salt and Pepper apart. Oh, I just no. knew they talked some nasty shit, and I was like, "Yeah, I like just that to be, shit." To be honest, I just knew they. Yeah, that was what I was gonna say. I just knew they was nasty. That's All right, on some real nigga shit. Like I, I, I can rock with the Nikki number one. I can rock with Missy too. I can't rock with Missy because she's not a rapper. What is Missy? Missy's she's an a, artist. A pop, she's, she's a pop artist. She's like for real. She's like a female for real, bro. She doesn't really she have more a, a, a trash bag in a video. She's a pop artist. And that shit worked. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit worked. She rapped backwards and had the whole world doing that shit. No, she didn't rap backwards. That was a that was a uh, something else and the engineer did that stupid shit. And we're still wondering what, <laughs> what the, the fuck, fuck it is. Air <laughs> flipping if it's went yet, goddammit. Nah, but I can't respect this because they put young young and May over Foxy. Yeah, but they got Fergie at 24 <laughs> over. I'm trying to think of who's better than over her, me, and mean, yo, yo. Honestly, we could, we probably couldn't name. We're gonna drop the list 50, for y'all to see. We could, oh, yeah, I'm gonna put we it could on name screen. fifty female rappers like if we just sit here and just did it. It's the same shit I so just they said. I was like, I'm like glad like they came with fifty rappers. Period. Who yeah. the fuck is Diamond from uh, Crime Mob? Why the fuck? So they not grouped together though. That's what's wild. That's what I'm saying. You can't because put... it was niggas in the group too. I come in the club shaking my dress. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna keep, still get them hyped. I'm gonna keep it honest, bro. Besides the first nigga, the gat toting, pistol holding, nobody remembers the other niggas versus on uh, the women do though. The women know them shit. No, oh, they remember hell the girls. No. They remember I really the girls. Had to Google who they got Rhapsody, Rhapsody at 47. Hell. Yeah, that's disrespectful right. as a bitch. Next we topic. Did, yeah, we didn't even get that far. <laughs> Next topic. Yeah, see what I'm saying? What yeah. the fuck? That means this put bitch it. will wrap circles around his whole list. <laughs> They have uh, Rocky Bad. I don't even they know They really put is. Angie Martinez in front of Rap City. <laughs> Angie Martinez. Fuck Angie Martinez. They put <laughs> Come, come in the Club. Go. They put Come in the Club Shaking, shaking My, my dreads. dreads. That's the only song we know from that woman. Yeah. They she got, doesn't have a, a yeah, she don't have no. She doesn't have a solo. I don't think she has a solo. Um, they put Lil Debbie Cakes. Whoever the fuck that is. Because the only Lil Debbie I know is they serving cakes. <laughs> They got oh, that's man. the white girl. Um, what's the other Crayshawn? That's uh Crayshawn homegirl. Man, girl. this bitch name is Honey Cocaine. Hey, I honey, I know Honey. Honey, geez. it's not better than Rhapsody. No, by no means. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, yeah, this yeah, I they mean, definitely fucked up. They got Dreezy at thirty eight under a lot of these people who I don't know who the fuck they are. I thought that said Drizzy. <laughs> I mean, he gets a little emotional sometimes, but I ain't gonna call him a female yeah, rapper. Bitch, you call him. <laughs> all right, all right. At eighteen, they have Snow the Product. They got Lil Mama at twenty one. I think Lil Mama need to Snow the Product. Go, bro. Y'all gonna respect Lil Mama too. I, 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 when did Jermaine Monet, Monet become a rapper? That's what I'm saying. On the the, the eighty seven thirty three. I just, I, just Tw- I told you. you. Said. Wow. <laughs> Fergie. Fergie is twenty four. No. 
The fact that Amanda Perez really made this list. And <laughs> I've never, all I heard was Angel from her, bro. And I'm going to keep it honest. Charlie Baltimore should definitely be higher than 33. Why? <laughs> no, she's better than a lot of these people. Yeah, she, she's better than a few people that they, are above her. Katie got bands. That's the I, just, I just I just want to know who their know managers Katie, yeah. be. I don't even know who Katie got know. bands is. I want to know who their managers be to be like, all right, look, we gonna switch your name because this ain't Payola is a motherfucker. Because I know some of these names is definitely Payola names. Damn, they got the Brett at twelve. Who came out with this list? Is this another one of the complex lists? Man, no, whoever no, came no, out, no. I'm gonna tell you who came out with this list. The same white boy that play online 2K and Call of Duty. Call you right, niggas. niggas. <laughs> Let me see how I can piss black people off today. Put together a list of the top 50 female rappers. You breathe like a fucking nigger. That, yo, they be wildin', them little white kids. I can't play like that, cuz. That shit, y'all be having to mute people like, no, nah, cuz. We not like <laughs> You not supposed to talk to me like <laughs> yeah. that on this game? <laughs> so, no, they got Jocelyn Hernandez but over. They got a lot of people over rap. I don't, I don't You talking about Jocelyn, like. Like Stevie, Stevie. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's Stevie. Yeah, this, this, uh, next What's subject. The next She's time? Yeah, yeah. We're not talking about this shit. She's no at forty two. At the end of the day, that list is a bunch of bullshit. It's yeah, whoever came out with this bullshit. list, yo, like y'all wild with it. <laughs> you know, like, no probably, bullshit. You probably kill yourself. You should. You should really think about that. Today is what a good day. What are you drinking in that mason jar? Tea and tequila. <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all said y'all was done with tequila. I don't drink tequila. They said that. Yeah. I, I fucked tequila. You want, you want to tell the listeners why I fucked tequila? I, I told them before. That oh, yeah, you did. I, did. I watched that episode. I watched that episode. Yeah. Y'all yeah. was sitting on the couch looking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was all bad. I think we were still fucked up when we, when we shot the next episode. Yeah, yeah. I think we were still. Actually, you know what? How many topics you got? Because I got a topic. Cause I sent Cal some topics I wanted to talk. Uh, about. I, I gonna, told him we would get to that shit. All right, let's let's to, let's, let's get the uh, let's get the Jimmy's shit. topics. Let's get the, <laughs> let's Wait, get we got to touch on the big one since you. Let's here. get the bullshit out. Pause, I mean, not the bullshit, pause, but let's pause, pause, pause. The big topic. Let's man. touch on the big one. The big topic, <laughs> man. Jesus, I forgot who the fuck we had coming up here today. I forgot who the fuck was coming. He's gassed up. Fuck, fuck who came up here? I should have known. This nigga said he said fuck who came up here. Let's touch on the big ones. I knew when the nigga said. Send I don't me the like address, you, little. Th- that's knew. worse than Biggie. <laughs> nah, I suck don't, on don't your daddy that. thing as long as it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, I mean, He's not alive. That's what Cal said. That's, <laughs> that's not right. Yo, and we put both. <laughs> and we put both of them you. together. <laughs> Bro, how many milligrams? Hey. How many milligrams yeah. was those? What did you have? First off, y'all, y'all weighing too much of my business. <laughs> <laughs> how many? How many fucking? <laughs> I just want to know. I might want some. Cause hey, look, know. listeners. I need to feel how he feeling because that nigga. But you know what? It all makes right sense now. though because I seen a, a picture of our couple other friends. I seen Shay and Diamond together, and they all, all got the same kind of look on y'all face. <laughs> and I definitely shout seen, out my nigga country. That's all I can say, yo. I, shout out my nigga country. I definitely seen country he, was hurting. Hey, yeah. let me tell you something, cuz. I watched Jason fail at life for five hours straight. Yesterday? <laughs> no, the, the Friday. Again? <laughs> Again? Yo, <laughs> he took that gummy, that nigga. Man. Oh, Lord. No. Y'all got to be careful with the shout enemies, out, man. Shout out my nigga. He got some shit that was legal from, from over there and shit. So we took that shit. <coughs> to the moon. Jesus Christ. This man been to the moon since Friday. No, nah, I've been fucked up since Friday. No bullshit, though. Thank God I'm, for. I'm just getting back from Richmond. No bullshit. Thank God for legal cannabis. Yeah. Yeah. All that. But um, all right. Shout so out to the illegal can- cannabis too. Fact. Oh yeah, cause I mean, cause they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know. It's the same shit. It's the same plant. Um. Happy birthday to Victory Lap. February sixteenth. We yeah, missed that. We missed that. But um. You know what I mean, I can't. I can't not give Nipsey his flowers. Of course. You know what I'm saying, of course. nah, I'm like on some real nigga shit. Like that Nipsey shit touched me different because I, I was telling niggas about Nipsey so long. Yeah, I kept telling people just listen to this nigga Nipsey. Yeah, dog. listen to Nipsey. He's smart. I remember when he Definitely came that. here. I think it was 2011, 2012, and nobody showed up. No, uh, it, it was, was eleven people I think in the building. It was, I, I was one of the eleven. No, like, it was me. I didn't Zoom. make it. I had something to yeah, do. It was. It was. Oh, it was not a lot of people. But it, it won't Nipsey fuck. Cause niggas was mad, like 
They, that he that's, why, that's why he pulled that stunt the second time. Yeah, though. he ain't want to. He ain't want to fuck like, with fuck us after y'all. that. Hurt. But he, I mean, took a picture in Sweet Tees on Granby Street. Yeah. <laughs> like no bullshit. He was here. I missed like, that. Niggas ain't giving him the second half. That's yeah. retarded. And that yeah. was a packed building. How you not pay that man his money? You like had you it. Had, you had because Big Bro performed that night. Boogie performed that night. Yeah. Then Jada Kiss performed. Jada Kiss before. And Boogie yep. kept, Boogie mm. texted me and was like, "Hey, bro, get out of here." I'm like, "What's up?" Nipsey didn't come, but he's here. And he's not performing. So I just see people like slowly starting to leave. I'm like, no, nah, let me get the fuck out of here. Cause niggas about to start wilding. Yeah, it's about like, to be a riot in this You charged me $100 for a ticket, bro. Like, no. I can't even see Nip. What the fuck like, you talking yeah, about? I don't give a fuck about no goddamn Jada Kiss. <laughs> hey, don't disrespect Kiss, man. Kiss album dropped Friday, too. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to have this true conversation about Kiss? Let's. I mean, that's. Kiss this- is one of the greatest feature artists ever. He's one of the worst album makers. Album makers ever. His first album was all right. The rest of them, I can agree, I can agree with you on. I like Kiss it. Only thing Kiss, only thing niggas remember Kiss for is beefing with Beanie Siegel. No, nah, I remember all the Kiss verses. But like you said, he's a he's a verse nigga. He doesn't yeah, give you a like bad he verse. gonna give you a if he, he give you a 16. feature. He yeah, he gonna give you a hell of sixteen. That's, that's different when he go there. But. So who you had, Kiss or Beans? I'm from Philly. I had Beans. I was, but I would. I just wanted to test your, test your loyalty. Yeah. You couldn't bake a bean in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> he was talking shit to that man. Kick the nigga ball over the fence. Little, little no, who y'all this shit. Like, talking shit to this nigga. And he, he never, he called him Jason. Like every time yeah. he addressed the nigga. Talking to you. Like, talking to, <laughs> no talking to the real you, nigga. Like, <laughs> fuck this I don't even know who the, the nigga Jason, Jason is. is. I know Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. So um, yeah, man. He'll uh, give you a chance to prove wrong on Friday because he's dropping the album on Friday. Y'all heard that Royce? He he was telling me about it. I ain't listened to it. Hey, he said he don't want to hear it because it's twenty two songs. It's not. It's, uh, it's like four interludes though. So I told him there's skits on it. Like and that's, so I had to think. I I don't listen to albums that are over like. I fucked with him because he put Grace up that motherfucker. That shit was hard. Yeah. He put the nigga that uh, raises kids by himself type shit. Homeschool him and teach him about guns and shit. Yeah. But they can spit information like off the top of their brain. That's fine. Like you add you add. Like, yeah, and he, he was, was asking him like shit. Growing what cali- up, don't what know. caliber? Yeah. What caliber bullet is this? Thirty-eight. What caliber bullet is this? Three eighty. I've, okay, I've, I've seen. Okay, I've seen. I've seen Forty-five. What? Who's who? Who be Newton? She spit everything. I, I, I remember yeah. seeing that. Like she know what that. intellectual that nigga, property is yeah, off the top yeah, of that. All that. that shit. Yeah. She has. He has that. She. He asked his daughter, "What's your job if Daddy dies? To pick up where you left, left off and take care of my siblings." I was yeah. like, well, can't be mad at this nigga, man. Like, tattoo face and all. Bro. Trained her. Yeah. Like, and Royce was really spitting on some, like, grown man shit, too. No, I can believe that. Royce did that Book of Ryan, though. He was yeah, he yeah, came back, and he that just came fucking, back that with some that fire. That fucking album was crazy. Yeah. That cocaine. I mean, the what? whole album, but. Cocaine is that. that that's my that's shit. The one. That's my shit right there. It just resonates like, God damn. Cocaine. <sighs> damn, I'm mad I miss Royce <laughs> drop. I gotta, I'm, I'm going to peep that. But, yeah, we'll have a review on the Royce joint next Uh we got Royce and Kiss. Um, so let's move on to sports. I know Giovanni. Hold on. Let's get the, we go, we gonna talk basketball first. <laughs> we gonna talk Lake Show. <laughs> we gonna talk basketball first. And hey. the Lakers just won. They just beat the Celtics. Yeah. The Lakers um, won, but they did not cover the spread, you son of a bitch. So I don't know why y'all keep betting on them niggas to cover spreads. Because they cover spreads when you don't bet on them. <laughs> That's why you leave them people alone. I'm about to leave them alone like the Wizards. I don't yeah, bet on the Wizards yeah, anymore. Yeah. Fuck the Wizards. <laughs> so Curry is returning the second week of March. Me personally, I think that's a dumbass idea. I, I, think, it's I, a, just, I think it's a good idea. You just gave me news. Cause yeah, they're gonna they put him back in. No, he wanna play. And, and, and Clay, stupid, and Clay may be returning. He had a broken in, hand. Ain't like the man was in danger of dying. Yeah, but right. think about this, bro. The season's over anyway. I think they like, they like fifteen and forty. You, you got to get some gel with your players. That's on there. I mean, now you got right. off season for that. Fuck shit. Fuck telling right. what they gonna trade half the niggas in the off season anyway. Yeah, that's a fact. And, <laughs> that's a fact. And, and I'm not coming back because I want number one pick. But anyway, um, that is all. Now that's a good reason to not <laughs> like, come back. Yeah. I'm not winning these yeah, games. That's bro. a reason to not. Y'all come just back. traded D'Lo, which everybody knew y'all was gonna do anyway. Um, Clay's not coming back. Steph can come back for personal reasons. On some, I'm nice. I'm gonna show you niggas like I don't need I, I nobody can else. Yeah. I can bring the scene back, but, but yeah, we still not day, gonna make the playoffs. But I'm gonna get these stats but up. Even like that's what I was about to get to. Even if you do some miraculous shit and get the AFC, yeah, bitch, you you're don't want to see that first round. Yeah, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> you're not going nowhere. Yeah. You want Los Angeles or Los Angeles? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're going to, the you're lose, going to yeah, the Staples. It's a lose lose situation. <laughs> Number one, lose. yeah, if they get the AFC, they knocked out, but. They, they get any they seat knocked out. They're not going to beat. Bro, Damian Lillard is going to cook them niggas. Facts. 
Facts. Curry by himself, and then you got the rest of Portland to worry about with Lillard, and he's he cooking niggas right now. Yeah, Portland's still trash though. But Dame Lillard is cooking niggas. I don't understand niggas. why they're so trash. They're trash because they're they're they don't have no chemistry. It's not that. It's not the chemistry part. It's the fact of they're led by two guards. No team in the NBA is going to win being led by a point guard and shooting guard. And your shooting guard is not all that great. Yeah. Well, <laughs> CJ McCollum is nice. I mean, that not... shit only worked for Golden State. But then they, I mean, I can't say that because they had they had big men. I mean, they got one too. They got they got white side down there. We good. We good. No, I was a little short. You in there? Yeah, I'm in. Right. Yeah. They got white side down low. Um, hey, look. White white side's not the answer. Okay. I mean. He's the best defensive player they got. Yeah, I mean, he's there for a reason. That's yeah. his reason. But you can't win. You, like, what L.A. did was perfect. What what um the Clippers did was perfect. Now a two and a three can lead a team. lead a team. Because that three can guard yeah. from one to five type shit. Yeah. You know De- what I'm saying? Depending on who the three is. Yeah, but Kawhi's a three and, and the Clippers. But then Melo is a three, and he's not yeah. guarding. He's well, not guarding well, they another got Mello, three. They got Melo at four because they picked him up yeah. when the power four went out. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the um, – no, homo, I like hearing myself. This should be sounding sweet. <laughs> nah, but I got <laughs> – Come on the magic school bus. Um, that better? No, nah, no. Nah. Melo, Melo at the four. But um, it's more so about, like I said <laughs> – El, the Lakers built it perfectly because you got Braun and AD. You got Kawhi and Paul. What do you really need a point guard in the league for right now? To dribble the rock. And get across <laughs> half court, court and just get the fuck maybe out of my couple, way. Maybe a couple assists. Maybe. Yeah, like, but no, like. Three you really need one to shoot. Yeah, you really need I don't, to shoot. I don't, need, I don't need a Damian Little on my team on some, I need you to hit 40 at the point. Yeah. No, I don't need. I, I can't play like this because we're not distributed. That's why the fucking Rockets are so Rockets bad. Yeah, that's why the Rockets <laughs> gonna fail. The same. I was just having that thought on my mind. The Rockets gonna fail for that shit too. Yeah. That was the one. The shit. one and two. They can't get it together. If James Harden just so happens to learn how to pass to Russell Westbrook, guess who's not getting the ball back? <laughs> and they put them together. They putting up seventy points together a game. But they got to yeah, though. Because they got nobody else to do it. I mean, yo. You got PJ Tucker, Tucker playing the fucking center now. <laughs> that nigga's six seven. But at the end of the day, I, I really like basketball wise. I I really want to see that Clipper versus Laker matchup in the finals. I don't think it's going to happen because I think the Clippers are going to lose to somebody. Because if they don't lose, they'll be so tired from the two three matchup. Yeah. Rather than because yeah. whoever get the top spot is the ones going to the finals. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're going to be tired. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Like, battling through that West, like, one through, like, all right, Lakers play the eighth seed. Lakers play the fourth seed. Or the fifth seed, maybe. Yeah. They got to deal with the two, three seed. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, right. it. That's Motherfuckers tough. who are just as good as you. Exactly. <laughs> that's tough. And if that white boy come around. Mm. You talking about Luca? Mm-hmm. Luca. <laughs> Luca. Well, Luca's a different that's animal. A different monster, B. Niggas got mad at me because one of my old heads told me something, and I agree with him. He said Luca can fuck around and go down as the best basketball player we ever seen. Yes, yes, and niggas potential. don't. Oh, yeah. if, he if has a potential. Niggas don't see it. He definitely yeah. has a potential. But this man been playing basketball with grown ups since he was fourteen. Okay. He got the potential, to, and he's young. That boy's still young, and and moves, doing whatever the he, he put wants on to. Yeah. And when I say whatever he wants to, he does whatever he wants to. On whoever he wants. <laughs> like, no <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> oh, you legs. here next? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You get some work, too. Bring it. Hit him with the between the legs, behind the back, step back to the left. No, his step, yeah. back, is, his step back is just uncontrollable. Yeah, and Luca only, what, like 19, 20? Yeah. Some shit like that? He can't like, drink legally. Yeah, I know he's young. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like 19, 20. Yeah. But you got to like, imagine 19, 20, he didn't go to college, but I've been playing ball versus adults since 15 yeah. and getting buckets. And then. getting buckets. <laughs> like, I, I I've been getting buckets yeah. at 15. Yeah, too, like man. I was actually playing with these <laughs> niggas. Like, I wasn't Y'all nigga got me that fucked was just, up. Yeah. I want MVP at 16 Look, in an adult league. LeBron was nice with nigga. I'm, <laughs> I'm like I'm, that. Y'all got me a little confused. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's a fact. So that's what I said. I mean, like, and the Clippers start off slow. I don't know if you, of course, we watch the games. Yeah, we gamble, it. but you know what I'm saying. They start off slow in games, and they always try yeah, to play I catch don't, up. I don't, I don't like that whole low management shit, and I also don't like the fact of Hold I don't up. think Paul George and Kawhi got 
enough chemistry for real. Nah, because because of, of the little they management. don't play. They don't play together a lot. Management. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. We'll see though. I mean, you never know. Who you think coming out of the East? Milwaukee. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, I'm a Philly fan. And I hate to say it. Really? I, well, Philly tripped out when Embiid said he's the best best player in the league. <laughs> That's how the man feel. He can feel himself. <laughs> <laughs> he felt like that after the All Star game. He was feeling himself. Man, listen, dog. You supposed to feel like that though. You can't feel like that after the All Star game if you lost. <laughs> the fuck? If you're the greatest player ever, you, you supposed to win the All Star game. The All-Star game. You didn't win the game MVP. You, didn't win, you, didn't nothing nothing. That shit. you didn't get a trophy, bitch. You just thanks for you, coming. You went on vacation. Thanks for coming, B. <laughs> now give or take, your captain was stupid as fuck, but because Giannis doesn't deserve to be the captain of nobody's All Star team that again. That was the worst pickup team ever. I was confused. Yo, I don't think it's wherever in the league. This nigga <laughs> picked Siakam up before Kawhi. This nigga <laughs> is crazy. Uh, but you know what? It's funny you said that because I was going to say that probably be the team that can get him, give him a trouble. Toronto can get him a run. Nah. Cause if Toronto healthy, Toronto can get him a run. Toronto is not going to win if Siakam's your best player, bro. <laughs> Kawhi shutting that shit the fuck down. <laughs> and Cal Lowry's not going to do a lot. Because playoff Kyle Lowry is not it's it. It's not regular <laughs> season Kyle Lowry. It's a two totally different Kyle Lowry. Uh, Kyle Lowry that shit folks. me off every year. Kyle so y'all getting off on Kawhi? Yeah. Paul George? He, not both like, they switching. Yeah, that's what, not both of them. Not on game long. They're resting. Yeah, yeah not both of <laughs> like, them all game long. No, like, no. See, y'all come not hitting 40 on them yeah. people? <laughs> Definitely going to be nah. tired. It's not happening. Hell no. See, y'all come not doing nothing for you. If Giannis decides, hey, I want to guard him. <laughs> what is he, see, y'all come doing the rest of the game? <laughs> nothing. He's going to give you 17. He's going to give you 17. Against Giannis. He's <laughs> <laughs> a lying bitch. <laughs> Boy gonna be out there mad as hell. I can't pass over him. I can't give you the ball. Giannis is guarding you. The fuck you want the ball for anyway? And they role player, yeah. Milwaukee role player stepped up. They stepped up better than they did last year. Man, Eric Bledsoe hooping. Chris but I, 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 I do want to speak about him, though. What about him? Chris Middleton does not deserve to be an All Star. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Nah. When, when you, I mean, he looks good because he's playing beside Giannis. I don't give a fuck about that. You have a man in Washington that is the sixth leading scorer in fuck, the fucking NBA. <laughs> like, <I'm> disrespectful <laughs> to Bradley Beal, yo. And it don't matter that thing is averaging it's, a dub yeah. nine. He's killing him. Every fucking game. He's damn near averaging 30 a game. And that's with nobody else on the team. And, and you he's telling me. Nothing <laughs> that nigga literally has nobody else on the team. You're telling me a Chris Middleton. <laughs> give, the side Gian- give Giannis Bradley Beal <laughs> and see where that shit oh, go. Oh, nigga. <laughs> shit nigga. looks different. What? <laughs> that should be crazy. Chris Middleton. They would definitely take the East. That should be crazy. They're going to take it regardless. <laughs> I mean. But with Bradley, they yeah. might give a run to the West. Like. <laughs> That shit they might different. yeah they might fuck around and run take the final seven yeah, type shit tough. yeah at least six they gonna take yeah. six to get Bradley but we'll see, we got some time season, but yeah season yeah. winded down season winded down let's 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 get on to the uh the, the main sports topic of the it. of the motherfucking week you ain't play your intro the crazy <laughs> I, I hope it's not the crazy game. shit you know it's the bullshit the crazy you know shit bullshit. <laughs> I came here the wrong night matter of fact <laughs> this is how we gonna start this shit off. This is how we gonna start this shit off right here, man. Remember how that music used to make me smile. Sing along if you know the words. Sing along if you know the words. I, I was singing. I you just as disrespectful as everybody fucking else. I knew, I knew my money was good. <laughs> you come in the ring singing? Oh yeah, you know something. <laughs> no. Oh no, this was after the fight. Oh, this was after. No, this was after the fight. <laughs> he held a fucking concert I after. He- that's the same look I had on my face. But like you said, before the fight, he was in the room. He was dancing in his boxes and shit. Like, he was chilling. No, this nigga sung the whole song. Like, all three verses and... <laughs> I am glad I'm here for this talk. Though, because... uh, and then had the the audience... Listen to the audience, bro. They're with it. This shit sound like trap karaoke. They're with it. This shit sound like trap karaoke, <laughs> 
Y'all got that white boy fucked up. But well, all the way fucked up. <laughs> like, Stop this shit, man. Cause this shit is disrespectful. <laughs> All right, so hey, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all talk first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, y'all don't know though. a lot about boxing. I know that <laughs> you know somebody got the answer last night. Nigga, I know some shit that. Well, you know, I, I watch it, so I'm, that's why I'm glad you up here because this nigga he watches it, but he don't really give a fuck about it. For I real. know disrespect, and I know I'd have shot that nigga. You hear me? Because because we, me and you, had a conversation <laughs> last weekend about this fight, you. and we was the only two niggas in the room that said what happened was gonna happen. I mean, I watched the last fight, so I I can see from the last fight that he was a better boxer than him. And that yeah. Wilder got saved by the knockdowns. I saw that. But like, one thing, that? one thing in this song that is true, I'm gonna replay it because this would have been true if he did this to me. Because you, I'm shooting this nigga. You knock me out and then you, you motherfucking. Uh, well, he ain't not Wilder out. Let's put this. Pacquiao in. won the fight and went to a club and had a whole concert. <laughs> That's pretty much. That's what they do, though. That's what he did in the ring. That's what they do. Deontay Wilder had a fight party afterwards too. That's not the most disrespectful part. He didn't make it, but he had a fight party afterwards. Yeah, I seen him. I seen it on his Instagram. Yeah, but he didn't make it because he went to the hospital. Yeah, his ear was bleeding. Fucking ruptured eardrum. His equilibrium was off. He said, "I want to taste blood." So in the middle of the round, lick the lick this nigga's neck. Yeah, he licked the blood off his neck, bro. Man, like, listen, dog. It's not that really. It's not really that bad. It's disrespectful, B. I'm gonna tell you on some real. Like in the heat of the moment in a fight, like it's. No, we seen a nigga bite a nigga ear. I would have rather the nigga bit my ear. Than he bit it my off neck. though. He didn't just bite, like, bite, like, bite my ear off. Like, nigga. The nigga Don't was me, <laughs> missing. Like, a when you look at nigga like ear, you, made, you made that nigga ear. You know bitch he went. On, he went. On, you know he went on this podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta watch that shit. Yeah. Tyson Fury went up there too. Words. But I told niggas all, all yeah, the real. Wilder became that man's bitch when he licked his neck. But dog, so yeah, I'd rather you bite my ear off. Last week, we was at Country Crib, and this nigga killer. Everybody was saying. Killer Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Put, Yo. We gonna put that nigga on the mic. Yo. What's up with you? Hey, shit, I'm doing the podcast, nigga. I got you on speakerphone. What's cracking? Hey, shit, are you doing a live joint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say what's up to the people. Yeah, what's up to the people? Yo, it's Killer live from the Pairs. Beach Boys finest. Hey, you already know. Free killer. killer. Free hey, killer. Hey, Killer, where we, where we from, motherfucker? Motherfucking College Park. Oh, yeah, you already know. <laughs> what's good, though? <laughs> I ain't shit doing this podcast right now. I'm just chilling. Just talking about oh, boy the other day. Y'all talking shit out there? Yeah, we talking about the fight. Watching this white boy beat the black man up in Black History Month. <laughs> that shit's bad. <laughs> I might go punch a crack in the face. Right in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all can't win this month. <laughs> Everything good, though. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Should hit me tomorrow. All right, bro. Free my nigga killer, man. Free my nigga killer, man. Yeah, that's big bro, man. Like, no bullshit. Y'all niggas, y'all talk that hood shit, but. Yeah, that's, that's We know different. real, yo, we know yo, real <laughs> gangsters, man. Yo, yo, yo nigga go down and you don't send him nothing for his fucking goddamn meals. Mm-mm. We do that. And the crazy thing. And I run killer Instagram, so. Yeah, when he DM, <laughs> it's family. me. It's family. <laughs> I'm DMing from the phone, okay? Dog, crazy thing is this nigga killer will be in the lounge singing R and B songs to bitches and then go do some gangster shit right after wow, he that nigga taught me how to drive. Right after he like, leave. No bullshit. That nigga taught me how to drive a stick shift. No bullshit. He had a yeah. Mazda 626. And I'll never forget it because the windshield wiper, the girl ripped the shit off. So if it started raining, he had to get out the car outside and like turn the windshield wipers on from the outside, cuz. No bullshit. Like I was raised by I was raised on some other yeah, shit, but big homie. nah. But with the Tyson oh, yeah, yeah. Fury shit, like like for instance, right before I talked about Tyson Fury, I t- I told a lot of people how to beat Floyd Mayweather, and nobody wanted to listen to me. Yeah, we did that conversation. Yeah. You that punch sh- his shoulder, shoulder the fuck off till he can't he protect himself shit, yeah. with his shoulder. Yeah, that's how you beat Floyd. But nobody wanted to listen to me. Whatever. I told niggas when it came down to Deontay Wilder, regardless of who he fought, he a one trick pony. He if is. you if you let him swing his right and he missed, you he's out tag. back. You yeah. gotta tag him. He's out back because he does the way he swing his right, he don't swing his right properly like a boxer. He leaves his feet with his right hand. Yeah. So once he leaves his feet with his right hand, his right foot becomes his front foot. Yeah. He doesn't know how to fight Southpaw. Nah. So now he's just on some old yeah, shit. What do I do? Yeah. Yeah, that's why like his older fights, you see. If he miss, he starts swinging wild to get you to fuck get the off fuck of him, off him so, so he can readjust right. his shit. Yeah. yeah. But also, I told niggas, like, we're just watching the fight. <laughs> Deontay came in at 231. Tyson Fury came in at 273. 
We right? have weight classes for a fucking reason. It's not that. It's more so <laughs> we, we do got that for a reason. <laughs> but you got to imagine, every time Tyson Fury threw a one-two, what he do? He Wrapped him yeah. up. Yeah. Leaned yeah. on yeah. him. Put yeah. him in a well, headlock. Wait. Deontay Wilder, natural instinct is to try to get up. Yeah. That's the energy. Nigga, 273 pounds That's is still lot. 273 pounds. I don't give a fuck how you. If you yeah. is 231, yeah. you're still lifting that shit up off you. Damn right. Like, get the fuck off, man. That's a lot of energy it's being dead wasted. Weight. You talking about dead weight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, I mean, it was a lot of small shit I watched in the fight because I always see small shit in the fight where I knew what he was doing. Like, I'm going to throw this one, too. I'm going to lean. Those one two, I'm a lean. I'm because I already can prove. I proved to myself last fight that I can outbox you. I can jab you to fucking death if I want to. Yeah, he did. And he kept doing it this fight. He then did. Deontay switched his styles on some. I want to jab with you. No, nigga, you don't. You don't ever fight somebody that's a specialist or something yeah. with yeah. the same thing they specialize in. <laughs> that shit does not work. <laughs> You don't do every, that. Ask every nigga who tried to build a defensive flight up against Floyd. The shit did not work. Yeah, y'all gonna <laughs> sit in this ring. Work out. But he's still kidding you. Like, yeah. no, <laughs> like, you gotta hit too. But the bottom line is, I mean, it really came down, like, don't get it fucked up. Tyson Fury caught caught him in the back of the head. And that right, yeah. That yeah it was a it up. was a legal punch because yeah. the way it was thrown and Deontay was just so fucking nervous. Wow. But he's so he could talk all that shit in them press conferences he wants to. He was nervous from that first fight because oh, yeah. I know as if I'm training a fighter and I just watch my fighter go through that without that 12th round, I'm telling my fighter, hey, look, man. You'd have lost, B. No, fuck if you would have lost. I don't know if we want to fight this nigga again because <laughs> what am I going to do different? Yeah. No, and then on top of that, it's like you gave this nigga your best twice. You knocked him down twice and then nigga got up. what it feel like. He got up both times. Like what do you what do, you know what it now like? it's like what can I do to finish this nigga? I think his soul left his body when he hit that canvas though. Yeah. No, it, it went up to the pearly gates, had a no conversation, bullshit. realized Deontay, it wasn't his Deontay time. Deontay Wilder back. technically won the fight. That was way longer than the ten count. Oh yeah, no, nah, that's a fact. But let's not get it confused. Tyson Fury showed who the better fighter was last night. Yeah, easily. And that's what I and I even told niggas the last fight going into the fight because I watched the shit at uh you know what I mean little. Filipino club and shit, but uh, we even get. What are you doing in the? We it's a, it's a popular Bitch, spot. Look at him, he Filipino. Man, fuck y'all <laughs> niggas. <laughs> oh, it makes fucking sense. Fuck y'all niggas, man. But no, it's it's a uh, it's a popular spot. We just not giving out no free pomo. So, but nah, um. So I was there and I was telling it's niggas not really like popular. I was about to say I don't know any don't popular know Filipino, Filipino spots. <laughs> y'all don't Thinking know the same it. shit. I was like, what? Y'all, I mean, all right, whatever. No. <laughs> I don't know. I can matter get fact, some promo. Matter of fact, actually, no. Nah. Oh, popping spots. <laughs> actually, no. Nah, you know what? Y'all use that origami on <laughs> yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah. Everybody already knows. It's not going <laughs> to. Actually, it's actually, not going to make your podcast it's not, yeah, any it's, better. It's not nah, gonna. it's not. So, actually, no. Nah, what, what I'm thinking about, because we actually did, we, we did shit there. So, it's Buko. Buko's a Filipino spot. Oh, my God. You talking about the, the shit with, with five parking spaces in the <laughs> That shit do. But, yeah, that's why I didn't want to get them niggas know. But, yeah, so. It's um, a spot. I didn't know it was a Filipino spot. No, yeah. it's really Filipino. Yeah, no, it's really a fucking Filipino spot. It's niggas. just niggas just be in Go there, ask bro. for some food in that bitch. You won't see it. an American. <laughs> yeah, it's, they got Ponce and Lumbia and shit. They just have wings for the niggas. No, be a lot that's of, the only time I ever go with it. There'd be a lot of. But, anyway, so, now, nah, so I was in there watching it, and it was, you know what I mean? It was mostly niggas. And I'm telling them, like, yo. They like, yo, why he gonna knock this white boy? I'm like, bro, this nigga's not no slouch. Like, y'all can't go watch it now, but watch what he did to Klitschko. The good one. The good yeah. Klitschko. Yeah. But on some real nigga shit, like, what black people have to stop doing, and this is even past boxing, we have to just stop going for the black person just because, just because they black. black. Yeah, it's, it's not how it works. <laughs> like, yeah, that bet on black shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's I've been not to Vegas. it. I've been to Vegas, bitch. It Red hit. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> uh, a lot. It hits. Red hits. That shit hits a whole Red lot. Be striking. <laughs> that shit hits a whole lot. I tried no, this the first that, time I went. I was like, all right, they said better the on black. Time, the only know. time it made oh. sense is when Obama was running for office. It was like, yeah. I don't give a fuck what his goddamn practices <laughs> is or whatever. I don't give a fuck what he said in the goddamn debate. <laughs> Bitch, I'm voting for him for one reason. <laughs> I know he's going against a white person. That's all I know. But he, when he was going to box him. Even that didn't work out too well in our favor, for being honest. And now look at us. Yeah. Didn't we get one black well, president, man. then we get an orange president. The worst person ever. A fucking cheeto. We guy. went from black to yeah, y'all niggas, Y'all niggas had y'all shot. Y'all fucked that all up. 
Never but no, nah, but that's the thing. Side. Matter of fact, while we on that, because that that was a that was a subtopic on this topic. Because I've seen a lot of people mad that we made memes and shit. I mean, I didn't personally make one, but I definitely shared a lot about Wilder getting beat up and shit. Like I ain't make no memes, but I laughed at every single one of them because he deserved what he deserved. <laughs> I mean, them pl- shits was funny. I don't give a fuck who it is. I mean, plenty of jokes. Okay. But but why <laughs> why now is the outrage? I, I, I mean, I know why, but why? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Niggas ain't niggas won't outrage when no other black fighter got the dog shit beat out of him because he got beat up by another black person. That's yeah, <laughs> you got dog. You by, never seen you a got, white person really you got beat dog up dog walk. Person. He did. Yeah, he got dog walk. No. <laughs> that shit was bad. Like for real. Like when you think about like the greatest black fighters ever, they never got beat up by a white person. That's why everybody was mad because he per- kicked Joe Lewis's I- ass. <laughs> Rocky Marciano. <laughs> he, he, he beat the dog shit out of Joe Lewis. Nah, but like you gotta think about it, the greatest fighters. Like we didn't see Roy fight nobody white for real. Yeah, we didn't see Mike get beat up by no white person. I mean, they oh, did, did, but it yeah. was like later when like, they was Sweet already B, washed Sweet up and B, shit. Sweepy lost. Well, the only loss he really had was Mandanya. because that Puerto Rican nigga beat Unk ass, and I was mad, and I was like, "What the fuck, bro?" Like. Like recipe, sweetie, man. That's my yeah. dog, man. It's unk. But um, yeah, legends. Yeah, yeah. Like you never seen a black good boxer get yeah. beat up by a white yeah. person. He got like a true white person. This nigga is from England. Bernard Hopkins. <laughs> I said it on Twitter. He got physically assaulted and sexually <laughs> assaulted. Like, I just want, I knew he was gonna have some shit to say. I just want to fuck no, with him because Bernard don't count, man. I don't count them. <laughs> I don't count like I don't count that Roy loss when he when his eyes rolled behind his goddamn head. Yeah, even uh, I don't count the Bernard when he got hit out the motherfucking the ring. ring. And then Tyson, oh, bitch, why you in the ring? Oh, you should have never walked it's in so there. Bad. <laughs> With your it's old ass. So bad. And then even Andy Tyson last fight. That's that's, that's why. That's how I know it. You. <laughs> I watched that shit. I was like, oh, that is bad, nigga. Like, get up. <laughs> don't get up. <laughs> Stay out. Stay out. <laughs> Get up, Craig. Come on, Craig. But nah, even Tyson last fight with that white. I don't even remember the white dude now. I don't even think he boxed no more after that fight. Don't get it twisted. Tyson's still the best fighter I've ever, I've ever nah, seen in my but life. The, the illest shit is when Tyson got up and they had the post. He was like, yo, I, I quit. I shouldn't be losing to this. He pointed at the nigga and was like, I, there's no way I should lose to this caliber of fighter. When, when you start realizing like, your truth. Yeah. yeah. Like he What's said that shit here? in the interview. He was like, yo, I should never lose to this caliber right, of fighter. So I'm Pete, done. Right, that's a good, that's a good question. When do women realize their truth? Like, oh, oh, who who are like who Let's are talk you? About it. When, when do you realize that women are dealing with niggas that are not out, double not standard? The caliber? Let's, yeah. let's talk about. <laughs> or when do you realize when do you realize your truth? I'm fucking with a nigga that ain't shit, but I love him. When do you realize I'm just a hoe? Nobody wants to wife me. <laughs> That's a good question. Like, at what point do you be like, all right, fuck it, man. I ain't going to get a boyfriend. I'm just going to be fucking. I'm just be fucking. <laughs> women I don't ne- know. Women, some don't, jer- oh, women don't never admit that. <laughs> no. Never. Like, Hell no. No. What women 45 and single, and they'll never say that no, shit. No. What women don't <laughs> want to admit is. This is going to be all Y'all right, be happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm here for it. Man, listen, dog. On some real nigga shit. It's about 60, it's about sixty percent of the women population that are hoes. Like, don't get this shit fucked up. You niggas be getting in relationships just because of financial reasons, but still be fucking on the side. You're still a hoe. Like, if you're not going to really do that shit, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Right? That's where yeah. That's a fact. That's for everybody. You that's know what a saying? that's a uh, him. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a, a fucking nigga, him yeah. right that's there. That's for niggas too though. Because really don't do that shit. Don't do that. I shit. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Like I just like me and my shorty live together now, so it's a little different. So, like I I finally understand what it is to yeah, do that to shit. Do that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's different when you when you in yeah, the house. Yeah, I got with my it. crib. If I got my crib, you got your crib, nigga. All right, bad. Yeah, 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 we yeah. argue, bitch. Stay home. Yeah, but it is what it is. Is. Bitch, home is home. my home is your home, you so I can't even. Yeah, and I don't, yeah. I don't like. And you can't be happy in the crib. She'll that watch, shit ugly. She'll watch this podcast and admit I don't do that sleeping on the couch shit. No, you just gonna be mad. You mad sleeping back to back? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck. Like we got a guest room and everything. She slept in there one night. I ain't give a fuck. I ain't going in there. So. But I love you, baby. Facts. You know <laughs> That's all that matters. But no, let's just not all that matters. Good. You gotta be able to work it out. You got other shit to do. Like we 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 back we back good now. We back good now. Like 
It was a small shit, you know what I'm saying? I fucked up. It was, it was really my fault. But whatever. You can admit that. <laughs> niggas, yeah. no, yeah, but yeah, that's, you a, can admit that's not, a big fact. Like, a lot of niggas don't do that shit, niggas. I'm we not fuck gonna, up. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Yeah. <laughs> like, she be, might watch, watch this shit. Watch this shit, shit. it'll be bad. <laughs> it'll be all Why? bad. <laughs> Who you lying for, nigga? And this nobody. Shit nobody. gonna turn right back to where was that? You nobody. right back to I'm back in back damage in control control. again. <laughs> nah, but on some real nigga shit, like I think it's real important that because I put it on uh, Facebook before. I don't care if you lie to me, just don't lie to yourself. Yeah, that's a fact. No, that's some bullshit, bitch. You better not lie to me. No, nah, don't you lie to yourself either. But don't lie to me either. Like, is it? You ain't got, it's, you got, it's way worse. Let him, let him, let him, let him elaborate. Let him elaborate. But you, it's way worse lying to yourself. That's right. It is. Because if I lie to myself, I'm lying to everybody. everybody. Yeah, you're right. At this point, like, don't you can lie to me like individually. I, I, I get what you're saying. Don't lie to yourself because now you're taking it out to the masses. Yeah, you're making it seem like you're somebody you're not. That's Makeup, right. yeah. like Anthony Cuts, man. We gotta have a conversation too, man, because. You out here changing bitches and niggas be waking up to some bullshit. <laughs> That's a sidebar. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> hey man, this nigga can't. <laughs> y'all we never go through the whole story, but this nigga. Y'all never been to Anthony Cuts page? Uh-oh. Oh, so y'all know who Anthony Cuts is? No. Oh, this is Hell famous. No. It's this famous makeup artist from Virginia. Oh. Oh, some of you, fa- some of y'all favorite seven five seven bitches. I can believe that. Go to Anthony Cuts. I can believe that. Don't worry about it. I'm going to the page. Y'all talk. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all talk. Yeah, this <laughs> nah. We referred to women because that's who Anthony we Cuts of. has a verified check beside him. <laughs> okay, getting get money. No, 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 no. There's no, some no. joints on the page. Hey, no, I'm about to, I'm I mean, I don't want to see this nigga. I want these these jewels apply to to everybody though, for real. Like, if you're not gonna really do that shit, don't do that. Like, yeah, don't lie to yourself. <laughs> that shit apply to niggas and women because y'all fucking up good people. Okay, yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. All right, I ain't gonna. Play yeah, we gonna put it on, yeah. Because I can't, I can't. <laughs> look at her, look at her. Then watch this finished product. This shit look like sorcery. You gonna see her in the club? <laughs> this shit like is this. mad deception. You gonna see her in the club like that though? Nigga, but you gonna wake up to something? No, you I mean, gotta see. Like the you gotta see the beginning. Wait till yeah, you I'm see st- her. I'm, I'm peeping. Hey, I don't. This nigga changed her whole skin complexion. Bro, <laughs> like, yeah. you're not the same person. Who is that? Get oh, yeah, that's wild. Who's out that? Here, that's yeah. wild. Okay, so you see that, you see that, right? That's now, wait, it. wait till the video start over again. So you see the beginning. That's, that's wild. wild. That's Look wild. at her. Look oh. at her. She's gorgeous. That's her in the beginning. That's mad deception. <laughs> what type of wizardry is this nigga performing? Yeah, that's wild. Can this nigga make me look like I lost 50 pounds? This nigga's out here. No, 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 no. That no. shit is wild. No, no, that's her in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's her in the beginning, bro. So we, she went from I won't even take her out to eat to bitch, I eat that. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> tonight. You, <laughs> like, you, you, got, you, got, you got anything past dude? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> You wake up in the morning and be fucking sick when she go take a shower. Bro, oh like, yeah, that's crazy. That's this wild. This what he be doing though. You know what? That should have fucked you up though, because you think you bagged the bad Bro. bitch at the club and you catch her a week later and be like, "That's not the bitch I met." In the nah, that's wild. That's another one that he's doing. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah, put that not, put that stocking cap on. You yeah. cut that shit off. Man, this bitch come out looking. Man, listen, dog. You don't know who you fucking with. I don't know. Look, and bro, these bitches shit, go wow. to the clubs like this. I don't know how we got here, but this shit he's doing is. Who is that? That's this not the girl is... in the beginning. Nah, it ain't. <laughs> it can't be. Like This nigga out here photoshopping. <laughs> like, in, he, in real life. photoshopping bitches in real Man, life. Man, the bitch got different <laughs> outfits on, cuz. She's wearing different outfits on Instagram. Look at that shit. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I got some yeah. All right, so I, I just developed a new nah, rule she, with this shit. She if you went wear from makeup, goddamn. I don't necessarily, I can't be with you if you wear makeup. <laughs> like, I need to see you first thing in the morning. Nah, my shorty. Face my wash. Shorty, like, nah, I need My shorty that. wear makeup, like, if we go on somewhere special, because she wanted, I, I get it. You're trying to enhance. Yeah, I get, I'm just fucking around. No, no, I get what you're saying though. But my shorty wear makeup, and I still know who the fuck I'm with. Yeah, yeah. I'm not riding beside somebody. Somebody I completely don't know. different. <laughs> like, Y'all be mad as a bitch if my girl went there and came home looking like somebody uh, else. Bitch, who are you? Imagine 
you you meet this joint in the club. Drunk we might, is, to, we might drunk drop one of those videos on the on the podcast for you so you can see that. I'm, I'm probably wild. gonna drop the link. But you drunk as a bitch, you meet her in the club. You go back to her crib, and you wake up the next morning sober. For, so you got the after that you meet. And you didn't already nutted in her. So you <laughs> that's, the, that's worth because that bitch that I saw at the end of the video, I didn't nutted it. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. So yo, we'll see y'all. We'll see y'all Tonight. next week. We gonna go ahead and just <laughs> we gonna go ahead and just cancel. I didn't know to her. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It'll happen. <laughs> I don't know if bro coming back or not, but uh, no, nah, no, nah, but yeah, but yeah, no, that's crazy though. That's wild. But it's like yo, so will we just? We I'm not, got, we gotta, I, I really wish now. I'm I'm gonna get that shit because I want to talk about that with Pam because she's a woman. Yeah. So I want to know. So, but to bring it back to what we originally were talking, about, like yeah. that was. It was about lying to yourself, and that shit we just saw was definitely lying to yourself. Like, definitely. yeah, because you know you don't look like you that. don't look anything like what we just seen. <laughs> you don't look shit like that. Like, so, yeah, I that shit is makeup weave. I don't, I don't mind that. Just do it in proportion. I'm saying don't overdo it. Yeah, that's just my preference. I've got killed for stating shit. State my preference. Right. Smoking here. He ain't want to do it on camera. I mean. <laughs> like the nigga smoking meth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you pull out a meth pipe, my nigga. Yeah, you like we can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, we de- we gonna have to have a talk because I've known you for t- too long. Yeah, yeah, I, I just, just let, let you, you do meth yeah. in front of me. <laughs> like, I can't. If any of my friends let me do meth in front of them, they not my. You're not friends. We're not friends <laughs> in real life. Like, you hell, you hate dog, me. Like, you just don't give a yeah, fuck about my me. life, huh? No, nah, but hey, Kyle, you ain't opened this beer up since it's been here. Cause man, I got shit to do. Bitch, I do too. I got an interlock though. Oh yeah, you can't give me a beer. Yeah, <laughs> that that was a real reason why he wanted to point the beer out. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> he wanted to. Nigga, the light, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all right, so back now, to lying. That's that what it was. No, no, no. I want to get. I want to. I, I want to get the Jimmy topics. That wasn't one. Like no. you started this one. That was random. Right. That was just. That's that why was, I said. That's why I said I'm gonna come to your podcast because because Kyle was like, all right, well, what what conversation yeah, we gonna have? Nigga, to we've been I, told I, you since happened. since the cookout. The, whenever, nigga, just pull up. Mm-hmm. I wanted to but set yeah. this up as a debate, though. I really wanted oh, to do. Worry. I wanted to do you versus Isha just because I knew that shit would get bro, wild. On some real nigga shit, y'all my niggas. So I pull up whatever yeah, y'all. I, yeah. Y'all just tell me when y'all want to do it. If y'all do it every Sunday, I will pull up every Sunday. Yeah. I'll be the next goddamn co-host. <laughs> Like no bullshit, but all right. So I got a question, right? Can you date a woman that don't have friends? That has like no friends at all. Like you are friends. It's annoying. I can't. I've done it. I've done it too. That's why I asked, and this shit's whack. I it's don't just, know. So all right. So my, I mean, it, it leads it, me to a bigger question of why don't you have any friends? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So it's a lot of questions, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, so Nobody it's like, like no, yeah, like no, you, you don't hang out with yeah, your cousins. One. Yeah, you don't hang out with your cousins. No family. But that's no. the thing. So it's like, no, why? I don't know if you could trust somebody that nobody trusts. That nobody trusts. Yeah, like why? You got to ask that question though. Like, why don't you have any friends? Because I, I, I look at it like this: if you have no friends, then I look at the common denominator. Like, all your friends ain't snakes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all right, even, so Pete, so Pete. All right, so let's let's switch it, right? Because I'm talking about a personal situation. It ain't even just about having like. It's not. I ain't gonna say no friends, but yeah. you got friends. Yeah, even, yeah. But you, you ain't don't been hang friends. with them yeah. though. Like, like yeah, I'll I'll like if they haven't a cookout, we'll go. But on the. How we hang, like yeah, ain't we, no girls night. If, if ain't the no... bat, if the bats in to go out, like hey, look, we going to happy hour tonight. Bet, yeah, like we all going. Yeah. She don't get those type of text messages. Oh yeah, it's like yo, you got friends because I see you got, yeah, you got friends <laughs> with the friends, but yeah, but you just don't be with them. But every time I tell you, look, me, and my, me, and my niggas about to go out real quick. Oh, I right, well, can I come? No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no me and not. my niggas. Yeah. But the crazy part is, you're my girl. Uh, this is <laughs> that this, shit is separate. This is also for women too. For that women that's dealing with this type of shit, when a nigga say no, niggas, nigga, the nigga you fucking with want you to come because he don't give a fuck. He don't want you to come because it makes other niggas like feel out of place yeah. because they can't talk nigga talk. Yeah, yeah. because they, they then they turn to oh you hang with them. No, yeah. like yep. you can't. If I fuck with a nigga that's in a relationship that's cheating, right? 
I may not agree the fact that he's cheating, but he talks but about it. Yeah, that's what he did. And yeah. then he talks about it in front of you. You're going to say, oh, you can't hang with him no more because yeah. he likes cheating on bitches. I actually gave a shorty. I wouldn't give my passcode to a shorty for that very reason. It was like, it ain't because of what I'm hiding, but I have conversations with my yeah. homeboys that you just don't need to see. Yeah. Well, I got married. And it ain't, got, yeah, shit like, and it ain't right. got shit to do with you. It ain't got shit to do with you. I, and then you going, we might be somewhere where... The nigga gonna be with his girl. girl. Yeah, like, now you yeah. looking at them sideways like, oh, this like, nigga cheating stupid on this bitch. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no. So I can't and then female, they they like to do little fucking sideline vindictive shit. They might pull the nigga girl to the side like, hey, girl, let me tell you what your nigga like. And now I got an argument with my nigga like, yo, bro, your girl yeah. went to my girl on some wild shit. It's like, bro, I don't know what the fuck yeah. you talking about. Now I'm pillow talking. It's happened to me. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to me. <laughs> So yeah, I mean that shit just it, it causes it's a motherfucking ripple yeah. effect, bro. So you ever walk out your house and get in the car to a, a wild ass statement like you got this bitch pregnant? <laughs> that wasn't the exact statement, but because I about to say, boy, you different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the exact <laughs> statement. <laughs> hey, I'd, I'd have been in some wild situations. <laughs> Jesus, that was Christ. the exact statement. <laughs> I gonna, know that. Was I'm it. not. Yeah, I'm not that gonna lie was, to y'all. That it shit happened. was too particular like, to not be. <laughs> That like, shit was too particular <laughs> to not be an exact statement. All right, so I got, I, I, got, a, I, got a, I got a better question, like, coming off of that question. How does it go when you break up with your shorty with your friends? What do you mean? You know if what you, the fuck he mean. If you walk in the house <laughs> and see your shorty there, your ex-girl there. My like my ex girl, not just the bitch that I was fucking. Yes, bitch. When you walk in HQ, you see your you ex there chilling. You know What's exactly up? what the fuck niggas is catching hands. The fuck wrong with y'all? <laughs> like an ex well, that I, I love. Ain't caught y'all niggas yet. <laughs> I ain't been in. The, I ain't been in the crew with none of you. <laughs> oh you? Oh he's been there. <laughs> and he seen my face like what the fuck again? <laughs> that was on some chilling shit though. That's like, what he's trying to oh, say. Oh, like, all right. Like, yeah, no, yo, no. Oh, I thought no, you, yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah, you yeah, like yeah. niggas are shooting their shots. No, no, oh, no. Oh, not going that way. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was in a whole different wave. You, oh, when well, you break up with your shorty and then you walk in, in your people's crib, you think you're a safe haven. <laughs> All right, I got you. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> and it's probably that's my. Like, it's probably worse when you in an argument with your girl and you go to the queue yeah, and like, then your ex, yeah. like she over there. Chill. Oh yeah. no, my girl hate the queue. Yeah, I no, no I'm talking about. She know when I come back for the queue, I'm no, coming back done. irregular. No, what I'm saying is <laughs> every like, look, every <laughs> my ex hated when I yeah. I'm going to country house. God damn it. No, what I meant was like you get in an argument with your girl and then you go to the I'm queue out. and then. <laughs> The you old joint, the old me. joint is over there now. So yeah, you like, a, damn. I see what you said, but it's it's mutual friends involved. All right, so Pete, right? Because to me, like at, at some point, it was like, all right, yo, when I break up, y'all break up. Y'all break up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I can't, I can't move forward because like, I feel you know, it is life odd. Is, like even it's, it gets deeper than that. Like even when you consider family, right? You go to your aunt crib, right? You bringing your girl. Mm-hmm. To your aunt crib, yeah. But your ex is there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. yeah. I see how it's, it makes it hard to move on from life. So I feel you. Yeah. Like I, can't, I, I've never had to deal with that. So I, I don't. If I bring, if I bring my shorty to the queue, it's a, it's a possibility. Yeah. I see that. You know what I'm saying? Then it's awkward. That's awkward. Yeah. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna still move like I move, but shorty know who shorty is. Yeah. And she gonna be like, oh hell no, like. And How it, often do she? Yeah, like. And then it's gonna be on some. Oh, so every time you come over here, she over here. So, no. So I guess the real question that we're asking is, like, when you break up with with somebody, are your friends supposed to break up with them too? I play like that. For the, I no, I, I play like that to the fact of being around you. Now, if like one of my niggas, like my niggas, niggas, like girl, text me because at that point, like, she my sister. Like, yeah. once you start fucking with my nigga, yeah, that's my brother, it. you my sister. And that's how we gonna keep that shit. So, if you if you text me on some shit like, yo, what's popping tonight type shit. Cool, I can, I can respond to that. But, it's been situations where I've been in where I've known my nigga and shorty girl fucking with each other. And I'm having something at my crib. He texts me on some Yo, is Shorty gonna be there? And I'm like, I think she is coming. He was like, All right, I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, it ain't even, it, but it made me it mad. It. it made me mad because I'm like, nigga, I wanted to see you more than I wanted to see yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I can tell her the shit canceled. 
<laughs> or like no bullshit. Whatever the case. That's what there. I told him. I was like, bro, I can tell her she can't come. Yeah. All off the rip, like, cause I don't, you know, I don't hold no goddamn punches. Like, yeah. no, nah, bitch, like. He gonna be here, and I don't want you here because y'all may get to arguing in my house. Yeah, and I ain't playing that shit tonight. Yeah, and then she can she gonna kick back on some. No, I swear to God, everything gonna be cool. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. The decision has been made. They always say that because I mean, even if they know anytime, anytime you tell you it's gonna be cool, it's not. It's gonna not be gonna be cool. It's not gonna be cool. <laughs> so, so that's like somebody saying, "Yo, let my hands go. I ain't gonna hit you." <laughs> let me yeah. up. Let me, just let me up. I'll Give me my alone. gun back. I promise. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot him. <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot him. Just my gun. My gun. <laughs> nah, but like, so what do y'all think though? Because y'all didn't answer the question. Because <laughs> I don't know how to. Like I said, I've never had to deal with that, so I, it's hard for me to. Uh, All right, so Pete, right? I get it's an awkward situation. If if you bring your shorty to the queue, right? Because that's yeah. where I went wrong. I brought my ex to the queue. She got cool. Everybody liked her, which was cool because mm-hmm. I want everybody to like her. Yeah. I bring around my aunts and shit. Everybody like her. This, that, and the other. Bring around the unks. Everybody like her. But then it's like, all right, yo, we're not together no more. I want to go to my uncle's house without you, without seeing you. You being there. <laughs> like, <laughs> family ties I would definitely cut off. Yeah, that's yeah, a Family fact. ties got to go. Like, I'm you, not, you can't be around my family more yeah. now that we broke up than yeah. you was around them when we was together. Like, and yeah, I be I thinking can't. that I be thinking if we're not together, stop going around my yeah. family. Yeah. I be thinking and I'm gonna that tell my family, shit. stop calling her, yo. <laughs> they work on both like, ends. Like, you like, stop going around them, y'all stop calling her. <laughs> like, What's wrong with y'all? Yeah, you wanna, <laughs> yeah, you want to talk? You Facetime her or you be her Facebook friend or some shit? That's like, what you I don't say. have it's to. Cool. Yeah. It's cool if you want to text, like check up. Yeah, yeah. And have a conversation, but pulling up, yeah. like come on, cuz like yeah. you know where I'm at every Sunday. Like, so yeah, family, yeah, family definitely got to stop with me. Um Friends a little, I guess that'd be a little more difficult because you build relationships with friends too. It's like yeah, and it, then, I mean, you know, because friends, is is, friends is friends, so it's like. All right, cool, but is that friend the friend for the right reasons? Now, see, I could, I could. Because that's, on that's her a end, question. That's a on, question on her could. end, it might be you my friend because I'm just trying to be petty. A good possibility. The nigga, the nigga ain't thinking it like you, that. He like, fuck it. Yeah, she just cool. Like, you know yeah, I mean? fuck it. She, she said she, she bring a homegirl and, and she bring, so often. and she bringing bitches over. Yeah, so yeah, I'm. I got a possibility to hit one of her bitches. Yeah, you know what I'm yes. saying. It's, so it's enticing. <laughs> <laughs> it's enticing. You know, what you got. I mean, you got to judge that based off of the, the particular the situation. Yeah, yeah. based but off nah, particular so, woman. Me personally, like, kind of like you said, like I kind of, I kind of draw the line. Like, I, right, I know bro gonna be here. This shit awkward, bro. I grew up with bro, so I let her know, like, yeah, not tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'll then whatever, does, it, does, tonight, it, like. does it even get weird to the fact <laughs> of, like, if your ex is at my crib chilling, like, and you just happen to send a drunk sex, like, where you at? I'm at Giovanni's house. Fuck you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> it's just y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Cause Cause I, know, I know what he about. Yeah. <laughs> The fuck? Got to fight every yeah, night yeah. to prove my look. Nah, you I'm said he here. made you stuffed chicken. <laughs> you over here, the nigga just cooking for you? Oh. Bet. This, this nigga don't even like the no, cup. No, you <laughs> like, no, she fucking this nigga. It ain't, it ain't oodles and noodles? <laughs> Patron. You gotta convince yourself not to be mad at your homeboy. Like, I mean, I can't blame that nigga. Patron, this nigga, that nigga would do. this nigga only brings Jose to the pull-up. He's <laughs> Patron. <laughs> Hey, he's a funny nigga. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know niggas got that conversation. Yeah, he's, uh, he's just doing what niggas would do. I, I do the same shit. <laughs> Yo, that's where niggas go wrong at though. Niggas always go wrong with a like sincerely forgiving their friend when they do some fuck yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Just because you say, man, he just being a he's nigga. Being a no, nigga. <laughs> yo, that's why like, you, like, you gotta address the shit. Nigga. You gotta talk about it. Like, no, that's like at the, the least talk about. That's it. like <laughs> the phrase, your nigga fuck yo bitch. This yo nigga. And yo, y'all did you a favor. Like, how the fuck was that doing me a favor? Nigga? I showed you that she's a cheater. <laughs> Bitch. You could have just me told me, nigga. Like, if you don't come outside to this grass. <laughs> what the Wait, fuck, you bro? still my bro after this, but we got to catch his ass. No, we got to catch this fade. This fade and you blame. can win. I don't yeah, but fuck. the fade got to go. But I got to put go. some kind of hands on you. I'm, no, I'm, Bitch, throwing I can lose. I'm throwing the first punch. I know. He's not making it off the stairs. <laughs> you think we going to the grass, bitch. We going to this balcony. That's it. <laughs> And I'm walking out the door first. As soon as you turn around, I'm right. pop, let's get it. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. But you brought, up a, you brought up a good point. You said that women be women can be conniving. So how do you know if she's doing it for the right reasons? I want to know how women handle those situations. 
Cause they slick yeah. as shit. No, I don't. So women will have all the niggas in the crib and just be lying for her homegirl like this. My this no. bro, this my bro. Like and her homegirl fucking all of them. Women, yeah. women. What, what women Pam different. say uh, two episodes ago? She's had kickbacks at her crib with, with multiple. She niggas. said this on camera. Yeah. She had one nigga that she was fucking, another nigga that wanted to fuck her, and then she had another nigga that, that she, she was trying to, to get yeah. to know. Or, yeah, no, so it's just like, no, nah, but I mean, honestly. Women move differently than us because we, yeah, we be in there sweating bullets. Yeah, I was about to say, we be in there sweating problem. bullets because we know that's some shit about to go wrong. <laughs> we just, and we also know the the, the status of women. Yeah, they know they, yeah. everything. Yeah. Like, they didn't went on your Instagram, went to your followers, all your comments. Out, they didn't figure out who the fuck you that's fucking. They read the comments, nigga. Like, bro, <laughs> they figured out who you fucking, right? So when you there, she walk in, it's like, yeah, I love you, girls. Fuck wrong with you. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> Chill out. Nah, just bitching your comments all the time. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than getting a screenshot of, of, of a comment somebody said to you like, bitch, I can't control what she said. Y'all yeah. know I say some wild shit on Facebook. Nigga, ain't nothing worse than getting a text from your girl <laughs> when you don't expect the text from your girl. <laughs> <laughs> we need to when talk. When she texts you first. <laughs> we yo, no, yo, no, that we need to talk text. That shit is wild. Hey, you don't say, don't send me no. We need to talk text. I don't give a fuck. I call immediately. I call immediately. immediately. I call immediately. We can talk now. Right now, I'm free. I'm good. Do I because I may not come over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we no, need. To, you know how go. Was, you know how it's about to be some wild shit when they tell you, oh, it can wait till later. No, it can't. Bitch, what you mean? So <laughs> why didn't you wait till later to tell me that we need? You to talk? won't see me till you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm coming in the house at 4 a.m. <laughs> I already deal with that argument. <laughs> Dude, what the f- you better forget what the fuck talk. you thought. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk. Why the fuck you coming in info? Check my no. snap. I was at the queue. No, bitch. I won't do it nothing wild. Check my snaps. <laughs> Country sent you a picture of me sleep, <laughs> sleep on his couch. <laughs> Check the snaps. I was with timestamps. <laughs> the clock is in the background. Yeah, but I don't even care if she want to talk about planning a vacation. Just say that. Don't it's tell not- me we need to talk because my mind, I'm already a pessimist I anyway. Up. No. <laughs> my I'm mind a pessimistic is- nigga, so I automatically think some shit wrong when they say we need to talk. When I hear we need to talk, my first thought is no bitch, you need to talk and you want me to listen because I don't have shit to say. <laughs> I'm Look, cool. So this is what we got to start asking. You want advice or you want to vent? <laughs> like, what do you, 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 you want to talk about? You want advice nah, or do you no want to vent? No bullshit, though. Like, when you get to Here's how you fuck them up. Be like, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Hit him with that shit. That's a yeah. bar. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> So what you? But what then you, then you she, fucked she, up. But she gonna ask. You fucked so up. So what ask, you want to talk about? Well, you you started this. Bitch, so you, you, start you started first. this. So <laughs> the fuck? I'll let you get it off your chest first. <laughs> I don't got nothing to talk about. Because because mine could have waited. But look, yeah. but, but but in the midst of her telling you, waited. your mind your mind started thinking of some shit. It buys no, some time. But, but outside of that, the best feeling is when you figure out it ain't really no bullshit. Like, hey, I was just wondering. Do you really like your chicken fried like that? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you could have touched me that t- shit. You had me a country out drinking shots. I'm know. nervous as fuck. <laughs> just wanted to know if you, you want to go out Saturday start, night. I, I think I we know should it's a start chick meal fit, prepping. But, like, I, that's all. I thought we should start meal prepping. What do you think? So what did you want to talk about? It ain't even the point. Yeah, <laughs> we straight, yo. <laughs> same thing. I thought the same shit. We should start meal prepping, baby. <laughs> I was actually in the restaurant depot. Yeah. And yeah. I seen these fucking boxes that it can do that shit. Fucking yeah, that you fuck them up. Like, you know what? It's crazy because I was just about to ask you if we, we should buy an air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, everybody talk about the air fryers and shit. You talking about meal prepping. Niggas got to stop getting nervous. That's when we fuck up. You be nervous, you don't know how to react. Nigga, you be scared to walk in the Threshold of the door. No, you, you know, know how wild that sounds. Is you scared to go to, into your own fucking house? Like this is what we did. How's the men you pay the mortgage like, yeah. on this shit? But you know the crazy. This shit? This is the shit we deal with as men that don't nobody ever address. No, I'm gonna tell you the crazy shit about how our, our brains work as men. We'll go to war with a group of niggas with no problem. Shootouts in the parking lot. Niggas been there. Fights in the club. My girl takes me. We need to talk. I'm not coming your heart home. Drops. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all niggas, we're going to have a shootout. I might need to die tonight. <laughs> you know what's you know, crazy? You know what's crazy? I'd rather niggas be in, be ready to ride for that niggas pulling grips out and all that shit. Rather be in jail than go home and talk to it. We need to nigga. talk. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just going to get locked up tonight. <laughs> I knew I had, I wore this white for some reason. Go get locked up tonight, B. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga swerving on purpose. Sober as Somebody pull me over. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, sober as hell. Just so you can go home mad in the morning, slam the door and shit. Hey, that's funny, though. I see. At a white night. Hate these fucking white-ass motherfucking police. Always fucking with me. 
I gotta see if I can find it. It was a link. Dude actually had the cop send a video to his girl. Like, I got pulled over. That's why I'm late. The cop was like, yeah, he got pulled over. Like, I'm writing the ticket now. <laughs> that's just wild that the niggas have to prove to their girls. But girls will never understand what men go through being with Yo, them. Yeah, no, that's you like know what the scary shit is? When you tell your girl the truth and she don't believe it? No. What are you supposed to do? Bitch, I, no. Like, like no, the I told worst one of shit, my friends. The worst shit is when the truth sounds like pure it's bullshit. It's that bullshit, yeah. <laughs> but it's the it's 100%. The, I swear to God it's the truth, dog. <laughs> No, arguing I, the truth. The Debra, I really did see the Debra, bitch. Like as a Debra, arguing the truth is one of the hardest things you possibly could do because, but it also goes down to who's arguing the truth because most of us are scumbags. So <laughs> I'm an ex scumbag. I'm no longer. Yeah, I'm no longer either. Yeah, yeah. we retired. I'm wholesome like a motherfucker. But I repeat, right? Like my girl, she knew I was an ex scumbag. She knew I used to be a hoe. I was out here doing whatever, boom, boom. So when she asked the question, "Where the fuck you been?" Man, listen, I fell asleep at Country House. This shit is not adding up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. <nah. laughs> like, off the rip, it's like, no, nigga. Sound like some bullshit. I called Country already, and he told me you won't dare. But shout out my nigga Country, because I got good friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have good friends. You gotta have. That's another question. Who was your real friend? You know when you know. do some scumbag shit. <laughs> but but no, like before they don't even know you doing scumbag shit. But they get the call, like, yo, where where Giovanni at? Shit, I ain't saw that nigga. <laughs> well, you know. I just woke up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. You just woke up. Yes. I just woke up. <laughs> I'm out of I'm out of the Matter of fact, I'm he, gonna call you right back. Let me call yeah. him and see if he pick up for me. <laughs> Is he on? Hey, he, look, he, hey, bro, yeah. bro, your girl calling. Your girl calling, man. Wake the fuck, kicking you and shit. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> Niggas really used to get caught up lying, but not telling their friends though. You gotta tell your friends if you are gonna lie involving hey, look, them. Hey, country, That's take that shit thing. to a thousand too. I think she on the way over here. Country, would, country would never do no shit like that. <laughs> no, nah, but I've, I've did, like that with my like girl. That I my friends don't. Yeah, lie. Yeah, no, country yeah. don't do shit. Like, my friends, yeah, my friends don't lie. He's a wholesome guy. Country yeah. tells the truth. He like. It's about we speaking truth. hypothetically. We all we all grew up at the same day, on the same day. We said, "Fuck it, we are gonna stop being scumbags," and we That's stopped it. that Fuck day. It, we did. It yeah. was probably two years ago. However, <laughs> if you are dealing with an ex scumbag, ladies, and he happens to slip and relapse and do some scumbag shit, forgive him. <laughs> he really loves you. It happens. That's a fact. That's a fact. If you're dealing with somebody, like, who, I'm, if I'm, you're dealing with somebody who used to do drugs and they slip and they relapse, are you gonna leave them because they had a relapse? No, I tell you, gonna look the fucking drug. No, you gonna love them and nurse. You already know what drug they was on though, so you gonna love crack. them and nurse. Yeah. <laughs> you knew they was on crack before, motherfucker. <laughs> he ain't just missing the two. Yeah, you shouldn't have. <laughs> shouldn't have been there from the beginning, bitch. Right, they ain't, they <laughs> nah, ain't but food. on we some good. real nigga shit, you gotta forget and nurse some real back nigga the shit, health. Like, like what you said though, like outside of that, like ladies, y'all need to know what y'all end all be all is, like. Don't don't go through my phone, see a text message, and then be like, "All right, I'm done with you." If that's not really worth breaking this relationship up, depending on if your relationship is really good, yeah, like shit got to be solid. I bet, like I know I fucked up. Now if he just keep doing it, that's that's on you to leave. But at the yeah, same time, right. it's like, damn, I'm burping like a motherfucker. Ladies, if you find a nigga and. The first time you go through his phone, you see him entertaining some shit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let one go, my nigga. You got to. Yeah. It ain't had a conversation. Bring it up. Yeah. It ain't nothing wrong with bringing it up. Address the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? No, address it and let him know. Like I ain't dealing with this shit. Yeah. Then once you tell him you ain't dealing with it, that's your warning. That's like, it. Let's move forward. Everybody, everybody makes mistakes. I'm tired of people saying that their end all be all is cheating because not everybody's end all be all is cheating, yo. It's I've not done, that. It's I've done the research. Statistically, they say more people, they say like 67% of people say that they're going to leave after somebody cheats, but the percentage of people that leave is like 30. No, the crazy it's, shit, more people get left over finances than cheating. Yeah. I, I don't think people understand when they say cheating, that's a vague fucking statement. Cheating is what your definition definition is of cheating. That's true. Women think yeah, some women, women think texting is cheating. Yeah, I was about yeah. that was literally what you know I was what about to say. Like women think because a girl texts me a goddamn butt naked picture that I didn't even ask for is cheating. I didn't ask for that shit, yeah. but I looked at it, so I'm cheating. I'm going. No, with yeah, I like, told her I was going to put my tongue in her ass. I was just bored at work though. Yeah, just shooting shit. That was Kyle that said that. <laughs> like, I just want to let it be known, baby. I love you. I'm single. I can do what the fuck I, I want to do. I'm not. 
I live with my girl. Mm. It's, it's amazing. amazing. It's support. amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I know. Yeah. That nigga Giovanni, I got to live here. You don't. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that before. <laughs> You got to tell niggas. No, nah, I had to tell niggas from out of town. Yeah. Bitch, you ain't from here. Yeah. Like, nah, nigga, you're not about to get me You about to up. get on the plane. And go home. <laughs> to I a got peaceful a, situation. Yeah. No. Nah, nah, you're not about to have my you shit You ain't about to up. fuck this shit up. No. <laughs> Hell no. That's These what, bills got to get paid. That's growth. <laughs> it's growth, B. Um, you know what you got? Here's what niggas really need to do. Like, once you really solid with your shorty, you got to really sit down and let her know what type of scumbag you used to be. So she can compare it to the man you are now. All right, so Pete, I can tell you a story. Because <laughs> it's a true story. I thought Shorty went through my phone. And she didn't. My drunk ass showed her every text message of bitches <laughs> saying, I want to fuck you, this and that. I was like, you see what I'm giving up for you? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a harsh reality. No, it's a harsh reality, but it was a rough house. <laughs> <laughs> My dumb ass. You probably should have did it that way. <laughs> but did it work? But I was drunk as fuck. But did it work? Hell no, because I. <laughs> hell no. Nothing works when it comes to women. Lesson be learned. <laughs> Stop telling women the truth, B. Nah, I got to Nigga, Tyree still got the bar of the decade. Who was it? Drop it on us. I lie to you because I love you. Because I love you. Yeah. I tell the truth to these other bitches because I, I don't give, give a, a fuck, fuck about them. <laughs> <laughs> he had the bar it of was. the decade. Women hated for, it. For when we were Every to... nigga <laughs> resonated with it. It was like, God damn, that's the truth. It's the truth. The baby boy came out when we was young. Yeah. And we was all hoes then. When baby boy <laughs> dropped, it was like nigga. big hoes. <laughs> like, I'm out here getting these numbers up. Nigga. Jody was like motherfucking Iron Man and niggas <laughs> back in them days. So we got a lot of questions for y'all to answer. I need to wrap this up. No, nah, we ain't wrapping shit up. Before I before I go, I just want to say final thoughts. Giovanni's final thoughts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> baby, I love you. <laughs> what I'm talking about. No, she know I love her, but um, she gonna be mad looking at this shit because she so, yeah. told me to stop smoking. So how we close out every uh, episode? We always give final thoughts. It could be a positive thought. Just don't say no negative shit. It could be a positive thought, advice, whatever. Some shit you want somebody to stop doing. Just just a final thought for the episode. Something to leave motherfuckers with. So we gonna you the you the guest this week, so we gonna start with you. All right. Um final thought. Loyalty is not a word, my nigga. Woo. Loyalty is a lifestyle. Loyalty is not a word, my nigga. Like you You can't find that in every person. So when you find it, keep it. Like at the end of the day. Like, I don't like saying this word, like saying it, but fuck love. I want loyalty over love. I don't want fact. you to love me. It's a big fact. I don't want yeah. you to love me. I want you to be loyal to me. If you're loyal to me, you the love, love going to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You automatically love me. Like, loyalty comes before love. So, loyalty's not a word, man. Like, that's, yeah. that's my final uh, thought. Like 21 Savage said, you can motherfucking hate me and still be loyal. Fact. Exactly. You can like, say fuck me, but I've hey. had I've had fallouts with niggas. Like my childhood friends, we had fallouts. But I'm not gonna let nothing happen yeah. to you. Yeah. That's what I'll say fuck him, but yeah. y'all niggas can't say that. He shit. might yeah. be my he might yeah. be my op, but he can't be your op. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't no, have that privilege, but yeah. you didn't earn that right. Me and him can fight. Yeah. You can't fight him though. No. Yeah. Because then you gotta fight me. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely gotta see me too. No, we're banking you off the rip. So. <laughs> right. I'm not doing. I might punch him after we bank you. And another, we another, go, another we final, another you. final thought. We're not shooting one on ones with people we don't know. Or okay? respect. Like or respect. I don't do that whole. If you want a fair fight with me, you better get a boxing ring and a ref. Whatever. And another final thought. <laughs> this is his last final. This thought. This is my last one on some real nigga shit. Stop, came, stop claiming crip of blood if you don't know what that shit about. That's that's on some that's real true. nigga shit. That, that ties into like I'm from LA. With, uh... I'm from LA. Y'all niggas need to stop claiming crypt blood if you don't know what it's about. And niggas is really getting laid down over false flagging. Yeah, uh, that's shit we you Virginia niggas, pop smoke. you Virginia niggas shooting each other over red and blue. When LA niggas that start the shit are red getting red. together, yeah. they're they're getting together and doing bigger things. You niggas shooting each other because you from a blood neighborhood. Or you from a crypt neighborhood. I don't give a fuck where you from, nigga. Uh. Get the money. Get the fucking money. Red and blue make green, not purple. 
That's a fact. If you know, you know. All right, I'm done. Kyle. Logic over emotion, man. Again? It's 2020. Fuck it. You got to keep preaching the same shit because apparently common sense ain't so common. Yeah. Oh, another thing. Um, <laughs> some of y'all don't got 2020 vision in 2020. Okay? So y'all can stop posting that shit. Please stop using it. You should have never. That, <laughs> that shit, shit should have died in 2019. Bitch, you wear glasses. Stop <laughs> saying you got 2020 vision. <laughs> that, that shit should have died in 2019. Yeah, logic over emotion, man. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, logic over emotion is definitely... Because a lot of people get fucking, they lash out before they do other shit. My shit is do your research. That's fact. A lot of people like to push shit out and don't have no motherfucking facts or nothing to back it. And they just emotionally invested in this motherfucking opinion of theirs. And you present them with a I fact. I got another one. <laughs> and you present them with a fact and they don't want to hear that shit because they emotionally attached to their opinion. And that's not how life works. Another one is like, like you just spoke about, stop doing shit for likes, my nigga. Like, those likes don't get you paid. That shit get you hurt. Yeah, like no bullshit. That shit get you, yeah. should get you Rest, killed for it get you paid. That shit ain't going to get you no on. Bull, it's going to get you hurt. No bullshit. Rest in peace, pop smoke. But I hope you hear this from heaven. Your homie's a fucking goofball. Your homie's a goofball. Posting them pictures with all that fucking money up, with the address and all this other shit. Yeah. No, nah, nigga. Like... Keep yeah. your circle tight, my you, nigga. You in the jungle, B. What you, what you, yeah. expect, what you think Wolves going to do? What you think Lions going to do, nigga? That's what we were saying. So, like, these young niggas got to learn to move different. That's why I said, yo, I'm glad our era, our fucking society era, we we was already moving before social media. So we was we already were stuck in our ways before social media yeah, came. I was moving with a pager. Y'all got me fucked up. That's what I'm saying. So I like, was taught to circle the block before I come to the crib. <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie, nigga. When we first got social media, like Black Planet MySpace, it was the bag joints. That's it. That was a dating site. That's all it. of it. That's it. Like niggas, well, it's niggas the got a, oh, I'm trying to fuck some. That's it. Niggas <laughs> got that joint, some. the bag joints. Nowadays, these young niggas, they want to gang bang. They want to do this. They want to do that. And they ain't even about none of that shit for me. But real. don't get it fucked up. I'm. I'm Bang, you know, back in my space days. Too. I'm with the. I mean, yeah, niggas had the shit. Yeah. Nah, but don't get it twisted. I'm not. I'm not talking to niggas that gang bang and know what that shit about. Like going on missions. Yeah, like, well, I didn't mean gang bang yeah, specifically. But I'm saying, what I'm like, saying is like niggas stop go on, doing shit for stupid shit. Like yeah, that's that's what I was saying. So I ain't mean gang banging specifically. It's just a lot of that going on, especially yeah. since Nip passed. Like. Everybody, sudden, everybody became a, a crip. Everybody became a now, crip. Now, crip being like, crip won't popular when Dipset was popping off. Nah, everybody was like, no. Sue Whoop and got yeah. that, got out and all that shit. Wayne was talking about Sue Whoop and this, that, and other. Y'all, yeah. everybody claiming blood. Y'all niggas wild, cuz, like, on some real shit. Yeah, dog, but this, We'll say that for another episode. Yeah, yeah but nah, wild. so the whole point, and I'm gonna wrap it up. The whole point I was making is they share, everything has to be shared. Like uh, DC Young Fly say, a nigga might cry. But he gonna go. He gonna go live crying because yeah. he need everybody why? to know that he was but crying. Why? Take your L's and because private, if it G. don't happen on Instagram, it ain't it true. It didn't happen. Yeah, like live your real we life. Living life huh? Like yeah, like people forget that real life exists and this it's shit outside the social media shit. And I'm really living life and having fun. I don't even think to take my camera out. Well, let's talk about real life. We ain't got time. We gonna we gonna we gonna uh, no, we ain't got time for the real conversation. But in real life, I can fight. So if you niggas want to pull up, pull up, nigga. <laughs> I'm from motherfucking College Park, bitch. You see it? I'm gone. <laughs> Jimmy Jump, man. Till next week. Giovanni, man. <laughs> BYB, we out. We out. I don't got much to toast. College Park, motherfuckers. <laughs> Look, ain't shit. My cup empty, too. Fuck Love, it. Love, man. We toasting up.